now. Howdy. That was Travis. I'm Kevin. And this is H and H Prospecting. If you've already subscribed, thanks for tuning back in, guys. We greatly appreciate you. If you haven't yet, we hope you like what you see today and you mash that subscribe and the like button at the end of the video. So where are we at and what are we doing today? We are actually back out on one of Republic Mining's club claims. Big shout out to Danny and Kirby. We really appreciate you guys putting this on for all of us prospectors out here in Southern Oregon. Actually now in Washington too, they're constantly adding claim guides and they're doing their own mining history videos. Even if you're not in the area and just want some cool History on mining, check check out their uh, their YouTube channel, Republic Mining. Uh, anyways, so we're at Taylor Creek. You might have seen us doing some dredging here back in the past, um, up at the upper part of the four claims here. We're going to go check out the lower claims, because we haven't yet. Maybe do a little bit of crevicing, a little pan in, see if we can't find anything. And hopefully there's actually still a little water, so maybe we can come back on the weekend and try some uh, recirculating high banking. So with that, pitter-patter, let's get at it. All right, so we've reached the top, the bottom. Well, the waterfall's there. So the bottom? We're at the bottom, all right. We're at the bottom of Taylor Creek. Not a lot of water. Some cool signs on the way up here. But this view, hands down, is worth the $10 a month to take a half a mile hike and come and sit up here and just, just check it out. Waterfall now. You can almost see it. You can see where it's wet and where it should be running. You can hear it. Wow. I'm on top of the water. something really cool we're about 200 feet above the waterfall the old sluice box still in place you can actually see above the sluice box they built a dam and then notched a hole for the water to flow through in the sluice box and the gold get caught in the ripples down there probably been sitting here for a hundred years or more a lot of nice spots up here definitely, <laughs> definitely been worked but there's definitely still some good material here Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got another. Oh. Oh, I'm going to try to pick it. 
No, not quite. Four pounds. Quarter pound. All right, so Travis's first pan, quarter pound of material just out of the bank here. Just below the old two spot. That's coarse too. Like that's, it's not all shiny. That's chunky. Almost a picker. Uh oh. Somewhere here. There it is. Not bad. Two nice little pieces for right here, huh? Good test. Good test. Move some rocks. Very nice. Heading back up to Taylor Creek with the high banker. back up to the top of Taylor Creek, well nearly four wheel drive access or two wheel drive access all the way up to here is fine. Um, luckily, uh, we're about another half a mile to where we're actually digging. Luckily our buddy Patrick's with us today and he's got his big bad truck. So we're going to load our equipment into his, drive ourselves down there, get unloaded and hopefully find some shiny. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Let's see if Travis can make it down this hill. Maybe I should be on the front of that wheel for you, bud. Then you might get taken out by the cart. Are you going to make it over that tree? I don't know yet. Oh man, I freaking love Oregon. It's so beautiful here. At least there's no snow down here in the canyon. You gonna try to go across the creek? I'm gonna go up the creek. Up the creek. That log. Yep. Hold on. All right. So this pump's always started on the first pull for Travis, but it's been a couple months. Let's see if she goes. Oh, one pull. Did you hit the switch? Maybe not. No. Ha! Got him. Purrs like a kitten. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice having a third guy. He's gonna keep us warm. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick here before I grab another bucket to throw down the sluice. Uh, I thought I'd show or the high banker today. I guess if you haven't seen the setup, thought I'd show you guys what we're running with and what we're working. So what you got there is just a standard two-inch trash pump from Harbor Freight. The inlet is on a two-inch down there with the filter on there to make sure we don't suck up no gunk. We neck that down immediately. That goes down to a one inch because that is the same high pressure hose that we use for our dredge nozzle. So our dredge nozzle is actually down there in the water and the uh, outtake, you know, coming off the dredge nozzle is what's actually feeding the sluice, the high, high banker today, if you will. We have a half inch grade in here. We are classifying down the half inch before we put it through just to kind of help. Down there in the bottom is another set of bars uh, and a piece of miner's moss to kind of help push the big rocks down and catch any small stuff. Piece of old rubber matting 
as a dampener mat, and then we're running the gold hogs, three talons, and two mother loads. We have this old dam built by the miners back in the day, so we figured why not what use what the old timers left us. So we're just recirculating right back in. And there's also apparently a very amazing quad trail right here going around us. Just had a whole bunch of ATVs go through. Awesome spot down here at Taylor Creek. Thanks again, Danny and Kirby, for having such an amazing place for public mining. You guys are the best. Did you guys, did you guys charge them for all those trees you removed already for them to come down? So yeah, we're just digging right here in the high bank, or we're digging here in this bank, taking it right back up to the sluice. I'm gonna get some more dirt. Hope we find some more shiny. Looks like we've already seen some nice pickers, but we'll find out once we clean out. Getting it, Travis. So we're calling it a day. Getting everything cleaned up. Just about getting ready to pack up, head up, stand next to the fire, enjoying the sodi pop. Here's a quick look at the gold. Not bad for a few pans and four and a half, five buckets, depending on how you want to count my little buckets to Travis's big buckets. Really chunky stuff. I need to get a better view on that. But for being so small, it's it's not rounded. It doesn't look like it's traveled far. And there's a lot of smalls in there. Pretty happy for coming back and not running the high banker for two or three months and it's starting up and running pretty fine. I wish you would have brought your stuff, Patrick. Next time. Next time. <laughs> there's always next broke. time. There's always next time. <laughs> Learning lesson. All right, all the equipment's loaded back up in the truck. We're getting ready to head back down the hill. Give a big thanks and shout out to Danny and Kirby with the Republic Mining. You guys are great. Thank you so much for providing this for us. Like I always say, the $10 a month is worth the view, but we found more than $10 in gold today. So hands down, great. Big thanks to Patrick. So great to finally meet you, man. Come out. I know we've been trying to get you get together for like three or four months, but obviously the world's crazy right now. So thanks, man. Appreciate you taking your truck down the hill. I'm glad we got to test out your four-wheel drive and break your light for you. It's officially a prospecting truck. Um, besides that, guys, uh, big thanks to the subscribers. As always, get that shiny. Well, folks, you got two options in life when you're done prospecting. You either jump in your buddy's truck who was kind enough to drive it down the trail, or you decide to keep walking up the trail for some reason. It's worming here. It's worming out here, too. <laughs> I bet you it is walking up.